The Pulse School on realairculture.com is brought to you by Saskatchewan Pulse Growers, DuPont Vertison Fungicide, and Nodulator XL. From the, from the agronomics point of view, uh, we're, we're starting to think that a lot of the issues have been fixed. We've got the seed size down, the plants are shorter than the ones that people grew 20 years ago, and there's definitely been improvement in lodging tolerance, so we're seeing, uh, you know, we're seeing, we're seeing a situation where people can straight cut, you want to desiccate and straight cut, e even if you chose to go the swathing route, you're not going to have as much stock as there used to be. Um, I just spoke recently with a commercial producer who uh, grew 2,000 acres or more in Saskatchewan. And one of his comments was that, uh, unlike peas, he, he, even if the stalks are wet and the pods are wet, uh, if the crop's ready to harvest, you can go in the city combine all night. So easy to thresh out and they don't collapse. We had a lot of wind this summer and we didn't see the fava beans collapsing. Very tolerant to, uh, they, gotta, they seem to stand up under fairly adverse conditions. We had a little bit of a lean in some places, but nothing that would prevent you from having a pretty smooth harvest. Well, I think, I think we have uh, significant parts of the prairies, uh, particularly in the black soil zones, where there's not a lot of uh, pulses in, the ros in those rotations yet. And that tends to be the areas where canola dominates, and we're going to see a resurgence of cereal production there as well. So to really get the proper rotation, if you can fit in a profitable uh, pulse crop, I would say that in the black soil zone, people should be thinking about something like fava bean. Um, extending that rotation is worth a lot of uh, production, and the nitrogen fixation of fava bean is tremendous. So it's well known uh, for that purpose. So um, good fit. You know, we, we, we've been up to 15% of Saskatchewan in pulses at one time. Uh, we're probably down a little bit from that now, but we need to get that extended to the full 20% to get maximum benefits from pulses in rotation. If that's a, if, uh, and that, that should be a driver for, for the serious producers who want to uh, you know, get, get the full benefits. There, there's lots of people that are in a serial canola rotation, and I think they understand that it uh, can be problematic if you can squeeze a legume into there. People would be willing to do it, even you know, if they could make a little bit of money at it, it would be just a big bonus.